Hello and welcome everyone to number 43, our Salty Tribes. Hi everyone. And uh, we are back from our winter weekend. We actually did not go together, no. but we were oddly enough in the same place. I think Stephanie made a point of not seeing me this weekend. I was like dodging behind like... Matt saw her. Allegedly she was there. I did see Matt. I saw I Eric and the boys a couple of times on the mountain. I was there. And I was outside. Were you wearing bright colors? Uh, no. My pants are like black and white and my jacket's maroon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But I need new pants because the button popped off. Which is why we're talking about the winter gear you need to have to survive the cold. Yes. Especially when it's skiing and such. Because I'm the expert. I have been skiing now two times. All in this past weekend, mm -hmm. but I am a cold weather expert because I hate to be cold. I think you are a prepared, a prepared expert. So in all True. things that require preparation, <laughs> Stephanie is an expert. I've done the research. You've done the research. Yes. You know what to do, whether you've done it before or not. Yes. I will have like an African stuff. safari. You'll be the most prepared person, totally. even though you've never done it. Hundred percent. <laughs> Hiking Mount Everest, so prepared. I just get my little Sherpa and we... Yeah, you just need a Sherpa, tank. right? <laughs> you don't have to bring anything. You just show yeah, up Sherpa. and get a Sherpa. That's right. Yeah. That's what everyone does. Anyway, so it'll be, you know, short and sweet, but Kay is a seasoned veteran. Although after she told me what she skied in, I have my doubts. I just know my pain level and it's very high. Okay, it was... Under 20 degrees. Yeah. There was wind. Strong wind. Frosty. Like 60 mile an hour wind. Biting wind. And there were days it was snowing. Right. So this was not like warm spring skiing where this everyone's wasn't, out in their shorts. It, this it was wasn't Big cold. Bear in April. Like it was cold. Cold. Yeah. And what were you wearing? I was wearing my Lululemon <laughs> workout pants. Unbelievable. I'm not going to go into it. I have a pair of ski bibs, which is actually one of my must-have items for winter sports. And in fact, I'm going to buy all of my kids' ski bibs from now on. So going into it, great segue. Yes. Um, I prefer a ski bib over a pant for several reasons. One, for me, there's a tighter fit. A lot of times, like, snow mm. pants kind of look a little baggy unless they were bought in like the 80s or 90s and they're like the stretchy <laughs> boot cut. Yeah. Um, but the ski bib is a little more form fitting and especially like it because if you do fall, you don't get the snow up your back, which is the most shocking. Which I experienced quite a bit. Several times. Snow pants. <laughs> and I think they look so cute on, like the, the little kids oh, all wear ski bibs now. And when they take their jackets off, they've got like their little ski bib. So a ski bib. Yeah. And since my button popped off, then yeah, I will be investing in a ski bib. And I don't know if the you've ever... The warmest one on the market. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever worn snow pants before, but I don't think they understand how a waist works. Like the waists are always way smaller than the actual pant is. So I find that with like all like surf and snow branded Athletic stuff. wear. Yeah. Like... Quicksilver, Roxy, yes. and all them. They have an unrealistic uh, vision of what the female body looks like. Their, their Roxy models have not birthed children. Let's no. just say that. So no. another reason why I like ski bibs. Okay. Um, I learned my one of my must-haves is like a buff. Or like they have um, like bandana type things that Velcro in the back. But I, when I got there, I did not have anything on the bottom half of my face. And I just was freezing, like sitting on the lift. I was like, I, do I have a nose still? And so I went right into the store and I bought a buff, which is nice because it's like, keeps your neck warm and then you can pull it up or you can like pull it up over your head. It can go all different ways, but word to the wise, get a fleece lined one. Yeah. Well, two things that happen too, aside from keeping your mouth warm, it prevents the wind burn oh, yeah. because a lot of people who are skiing at high speeds, like Stephanie, mm -hmm. no doubt is. Not me. You will get wind burn and you will chafe. Um, 
So it's good for that. And then no matter how healthy I am, my nose always runs. Runs. When I ski. Constantly. So I always wipe it on my glove, which is super gross. But then I just wash my gloves after. See, I just wipe but it with the ski my... buff, yeah, it's <laughs> a natural catcher. <laughs> yeah. And it's not... They do, at least at Brian Hood, they have Kleenex. They do at the lift. At the lift. Yeah. But it is like the harshest <laughs> rough... It is made from bamboo spikes or something. It was my nose. From, from the depths of Mordor. <laughs> spikes from the devil. Anyway. I wonder, like, the worst, like, those lift instructors just must see the grossest yeah. snot coming down. Like, they just don't even want to have to deal with it. I, they probably didn't see that on me because they were distracted as I fell off. You did? Getting up the lift. That's a whole other story. I, I fell on the lift this year. But I was taken out by the person I was sitting next to. It wasn't my fault. That's what I was going to say. Was Max is a selfish. <laughs> He's like right. this. He's, he yes. He's like, I'm just worried about getting myself off. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then I just duck down so I don't get hit by I, the next chair. And I am like, a, I'm a considerate <laughs> lift exeter. Oh my I always gosh. try and like. We finally got it down. But yeah. I was like, Max. And I'd make sure and scoot all the way yes, over. Like where the, the rail is hitting me yes. as it's turning. And I'm like, we're I'm going trying to cut so hard. straight off, Max. Straight <laughs> off. Not. Anyway. It's funny that he skis and that Jude snowboards. snowboards. Did you ever give him the choice of snowboarding? Yeah. He actually had, like, when he was younger, bought his own snowboard and Ooh. tried it for a while. But this trip, he was just like, no, Skiing. I'm a skier. And so now Jude has inherited the snowboard, so he doesn't Which works. really have a choice. Yeah. But all, all my kids are skiing, but my five-year-old, or now six, he was like, Mom, have you ever snowboarded? And I was like, yeah, I've snowboarded once, but I'd be interested in putting him skiing on a snowboard. Skiing is, like, a lot easier to learn. I think they're both difficult. I spend as much time on the ground. I just, in my opinion, you pick one and you stick with it, but maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Okay, my next item which I'm only picking two items, is um, Sorel or Sorrel. I say Sorel. Oh, Sorel. Winter boots. Which I need to get some because my toes were freezing. Oh my gosh. The time. I bought them three years ago when we first started going because I had like galoshes and tennis shoes and like no winter boots. Yeah. And they're not cheap. They're expensive. But, you know, um, I have worn them every year. And no matter what type of ski boot or snowboarding boot you get, maybe it's with snowboarding, I don't know, my feet are killing at the end of the day. Yeah. My toes are frozen. I've got like um, bruises on my yeah. shins from like leaning into the boot and like that's just the nature of the boot. And so when I take those off and then I have to put, I get to put my Sorel boots on, like, oh. they're so comfortable, so warm, great traction so you won't slip. See, I had Uggs. And it was, it felt good, but my toes were still cold. Yeah. And I was slip sliding all over yeah. the place. Yeah. So that's my number one must have item when I go to the mountains. Okay. My number one is like a pair of really good thermals. And I got Burton thermals, which Eric, my husband, says I'm bougie. But Burton, <laughs> Burton is bougie. This coming from <laughs> Captain Name Brand. Yeah. But. My body was never, ever, ever cold. Like, I was nice and toasty in my thermal. So, if, if like, your core is warm, you can kind of deal with the rest. Yeah, with the hands and the toes, yeah. and for sure. So, I suggest not, like, Costco thermals, but be a little bougie and get yourself. But only be bougie for yourself. Like, not your kids. For my kids, I always put them in jammies. So, you know, like. But I feel like you want them to, like, last the day, though. They were totally fine. Because my kids have expensive jackets. Yeah. But. Anyways, that's, if you're not into getting bougie undies, then, <laughs> like, just the long jammies that, you know, I get my kids those for Christmas, or somebody gets them for Christmas every year. Um, but those work great. And they're yeah, thin they're enough. enough and they're, they hug the body, or like even a rash guard. Like Max wore a rash guard one day because it was really close, tight fitting, yeah. and retains the body heat and things like that. Yeah. The last thing I would say to you, and I um, made this mistake, get mittens. You think, no, I want gloves, I want my fingers. You're like, I'm not a seven year old. No, but... you don't. 
No, you don't. You're not texting. You don't need your fingers. Mittens. Because your fingers close together keep each other warm. And then you can slip those little hot hands yeah. things in there. Because I just, the tips of my fingers were numb all weekend. Yeah, and gloves, so. I don't think, give you more mobility than no. mittens. Like, you have to take your glove off to do anything anyway. Yeah. So, what, you so, might as well get a mitten. Good pair of Gore-Tex mittens. Not sponsored. I wish. Anyway, so that's, that's it. That's it. The question is, will I return to ski? She will next year. Only because my kids and my husband like love it. Like my husband has never been happier than this weekend. And I was like, okay. It was. It's. It's a I, lot of fun. It. If you haven't gone, go to Brian Head. It's such a great resort. Easily accessible. It's not yeah. a lot of mountain driving. No, it's not. Which can be difficult in like different parts of Utah or, you know, wherever you're and going. it's not too expensive. It's not too expensive. They have raised their prices because I think they're cluing in on all the, the Californians that are coming. coming there. <laughs> but we really love Brian Head and can't wait to go back. So, all right. Have, have a good week. week. Stay warm. Okay, bye. Bye.